Well, hello, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Welcome back to Overwatch Competitive Coaching Academy. Now, I just got a brand new submission in from a user by the name of George Boys Rock, and he is in bronze right now. We're going to help him out. We're going to give him a little bit of a hand just to see how things are uh, going. Okay, I am in bronze, and I feel like I've been stuck in bronze for forever. And once you right? fall in bronze, it is an endless pit. And I would please like your help. Um, here are my career stats. I'm pretty new to the game, so. Let's take a look at your stats. Hold on. Uh, uh, let's go back for one second. I want to see all of your stats, all of them. Okay, here we go. Um, current competitive season, I believe, judging by your level, you're level 34. I am guessing that you've only played one season so far. Um, and you're on console, which means I am also assuming that, unless this is a Smurf account, that you've only played this game for about 34 levels. And six hours played in the game is not what I would call, or six hours played in, uh, in competitive is not what I'd call a lot of competitive played. Um, I think right now I have somewhere around, like, 45 hours in this current competitive season. Um, which is what I would call a fair amount playing. Um, yeah, I think one of the, one of the problems is you might just have to play more, first of all, but I'm still here to give you some specific tips, we're just going to keep going. I'm obviously not going to have very good stats. Yeah, so you just played for a little while. Almost, you, to you played a total of this so, game for 22 no, hours. But right now I'd say I don't really play Hanzo anymore, I play like... Roadhog, Winston, okay. McCree sometimes. Um. Okay. Okay, you play Zenyatta. McCree. Zenyatta. Zenyatta's Genji fine. Sometimes. Uh, Genji's harder to play on console. It's still doable yeah. though. I used to play Genji on console. I wasn't the greatest, of course, but I was alright. And this looks like a uh, a little bit of a skirmish. So let's just skip a bit ahead to find a competitive game, which it looks like you have found. Yes, okay, you just found one. Alrighty, nice. Um, okay, you got your... You know, you got your DPS picked out. As you can Sir, see here. I don't, I don't really know. Which sucks, of course. What? Oh, please pick Ryan. Please pick Ryan. Guys, I, I can flex. I can play healer or tank. What should I play? Mm-hmm. Healer or tank, that's fine. Um, don't flex, don't flex too much though, don't flex too much, try to find specific heroes that you're good at on all the categories, try to pick at least three heroes and up to five <laughs> heroes that you're trying to get good at. No tank, or... Oh boy, your team. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Oh wow. Um, well... Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. You have absolutely no healers and one tank. Um, other than that, let's talk about you specifically. You're choosing Winston on defense on a capture point, which is not very good. Winston is more of a dive hero. You play him more on attack. He can be. You can make work done. You can get work done with Winston on defense. But it's a lot harder than if you go on attack because of his, you know, specifically his moveset. If you were to play a tank on defense, a capture point like this, especially if you know that you have the Bastion right here, and you are the sole tank, of course, um, someone with more hit points, something that can soak up more damage and allow the Bastion to get his work sort of done would be a Reinhardt or an Orisa. Um, Reinhardt would be good if you had a healer. Personally, I would choose an Orisa in this situation. Because you can sort of hole up and just get stuff done. Because I'm assuming if you're in bronze, the Bastion is very hard to get rid of, uh, especially for an enemy team. So holding up in the corner with an Orisa and a Bastion is probably one of your best options right now. Uh, if you take a look at what the rest of your team is sort of doing here. Especially with the Torbjorn who can also sit behind with the barrier with his turret. Um, I can think of a good place for the Widowmaker to stay in the fence. Uh, I'm guessing she's probably not going to use it, but we'll just have to see. The Tracer Guys, and we Genji have... oh are God. much better on dive. Guys, I'm the only tank and we don't have a single healer. 
Okay, the good thing is at Can least you're talking. Some more healers. At least you're using the voice comms, which is good. Um, I find that, strangely, on console, people use voice comms more. Actually, no, it's not on, true. Dude, people really? use voice comms less on console. Uh, I got mixed up. There we go. People tend Thank to group you. up more um, on console after games. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. Things just changed. Um, let me go back uh, one one tad. One one sec. Okay, you have a Lucio now? Good, that's one healer. Uh, your window maker's gone. Which is probably, let's be real here, it's for the best. Uh, you're, you're, like, this, this is bronze on console. Uh, let's be, let's be completely brutally honest here. Your Widowmaker's probably not going to get anything done here. Um, I, I might have been surprised if something good happened here. But at least it chooses Lucio, which is a much more reliable pick, first of all. And second of all, um, there that's go. like at Thank least you. a healer. It's not a great healer. Lucio is not what I'd call a main okay. healer. He can get healing done, but right, not so much. Okay, say group up with you. Uh, your Tracer's there with you. One of the things when you say group up with you, you gotta look around. Make sure people are actually with you, because I can see your Tracer there. I can hear your Bastion is up behind you on the high ground, which is good. Um, your Tracer, I don't I don't see her arrow on your screen anymore. Okay, she's down on the far right. She's way, way overextended in their back lines. Um, you right now, you seem to be fairly alone. If I check your HP, your Lucio's with you at least. The Ryan is completely overextended. This is where you should be going and murdering him. Okay, so you had the opportunity to completely finish off that Ryan right now. It might just be like unfortunate. You might just sort of like miss your clicks right now. Maybe you need to up your sensitivity on your uh, on your right stick. I think you actually do need to increase the sensitivity on your right stick because if I can see right there, you move fairly slowly. I can only guess that perhaps it's because. Yeah, so I think you need to practice more precision with your. With the right stick. Now, Winston isn't necessarily here that requires precision, but you do still have to have sort of in the general vicinity of that hero. So I think you might want to sort of practice the precision. I don't know what kind of controls you're using. I know there's the. You might want to play with the dead zones on your on your right stick as well because those are important to have. Um, but it seems like you're pushing the stick all the way to one of the sides and it's just moving way too slowly for it to be uh, very useful. Now that right there, you used your leap. And I thought you were going to go in towards the right, which if you had your leap on cooldown wouldn't be very good. Now what we can see here is, oh, it's a little bit hard to see. Hold on, let me just uh, press it. Uh, let's go back, go back, go back, go back. Alrighty. Uh, and you turn to the left. So you notice there's some damage there. Uh, so what you can see there is Lucio is right there on your point. There's Tracer going to the left. You could have, you have a couple of options right now. You could chase down that Tracer. Because she just used Recall and she used one of her blinks. Now, if she has two more blinks, uh, your leap can actually cap up, catch up with her, so it's possible for you to actually get rid of her. Another option would be to go and help your team with the Lucio, because if you get down one healer who's not with the rest of his team, that'd be a big bonus for you guys. And the third option would be to sort of contest the area, don't let the Ryan through, and sort of let your team deal with the other two. Because you're the only tank right now that can sort of try and get up in the face of another tank. Um, those are the three options. I think your best option would actually be to get leap onto the Lucio. Let's see what you do. Um, seems right now you're gonna go for the tracer. Yeah, and, and that's what it is. It's again with your um with your right stick. I think you just need to practice more precision with it. I can see that you're only level 36. You do need to sort of spend more time um actually practicing control with your right stick. And again, the sensitivity really, really, really needs to improve there. You need to have much, much higher sensitivity. You've lost it to the tracer. The best thing to do right now, you can see there are two people on your team on that point, and one person on their team on that point, but you can also see in the top right, you've lost your Tracer, they've lost a Hanzo, now it would be a good time to sort of flash your, uh, your mid-screen. Now you're overextended, so the Tracer, the Tracer, I believe, you've just been hacked, which means they have a Sombra, they have a Tracer, they have the Ana, you're sort of in there, you can't really get out, I think the biggest problem is that you went for the Ana instead of going back to your point to help out your team. Um, you didn't have any backup there. You went in hoping that you could pick off the Ana, but a couple of things could have happened there. One, the Ana could have slept you, uh, and the rest of the team could have come and killed you. The next thing that happened here was you actually hacked, which means you have a slower, uh, a slimmer chance of getting out of there. But the biggest problem is that you went in here alone. Even if it looked like you could get the Ana, it also just wasn't worth the risk. And when you took that risk, you sort of threw your life away. Oh, they have here. so many spray people. They got like a tracer and a somber dude. Mm -hmm. All right, now I can see their enemy team as well. Okay, um, gotta admit their enemy team is not, it's not great, it's um, it's triple DPS which I've seen work before, it's an Ana who does have buffed healing on console, uh, it's a Lucio who has decent healing, um, but one of the biggest things is that Somber who can be a little bit of a problem for you, 
Um, she did hack you, which is one of the biggest problems, because Sombra, getting the hack off does not require much skill, and it actually lasts quite a long time. Um, it requires more skill to sort of get out of the way of hack than it does to hack someone, so playing Sombra is actually a good pick on them, and you need to sort of pay attention to that, because you can EMP you through your bubble, um, you can be mid-leap, she can EMP you, leave you without a way out, even if you have your ultimate, you leap in, and you can use your ultimate, bash people around, she can ult you, there goes your cooldown, mm -hmm. and it's all just not great in your favor. I got an annoying team count. Alright, so we can see at the top right, your Bastion just killed the Tracer. They're down one of their healers. The only healer they have left is Ana, which I could say is a more unreliable healer in, uh, in certain situations. Okay, so your team is basically safe. You don't want to get rid of that Sombra. Uh, she put it on her Translocator and she just ran away. She put it in the wrong place, I think. She may have. Let me see where your team is. Your Genji's there on the left, Tracer's going over to the right. You should probably stay up with your Tracer. She has the least hit points, so putting your bubble down would be a good idea if she's being uh, kind of dead. So, okay, so here's the thing. Um, I can see on your screen that the... Hold on, the Tracer. Uh, let's look again. Right as you turn around... Okay, you can see the Tracer and then you turn around. Um, So that's one of the things. Don't... Don't don't really turn around for for no good reason. Like you know your Bastion's there, or or if you can, do it really really fast. Do it really really quickly, which you can't really manage with the sensitivity you have run right now. Because when you turn around, the tracer blinked in, threw down a pulse bomb, and if that pulse bomb stuck on you, it could have killed more person than that just your tracer. Now your tracer, of course, did a, a little bit of a dumb thing. Let's be real here. Um, blinked into the the thing. Okay. Okay, that primal rage. Um. All right. Here's something about the primal rage. So, um, your primal rage. The thing is, uh, there's a problem with the timing that you use it. Now, I'm gonna, I'm just sort of gonna see how you use it, first of all. So you use it to throw around their only tank. Okay, you use it to throw around their only tank. This isn't that bad. Okay. Um... But there are definitely better ways you could use it. First of all, uh, Primal Rage is a really, really good counter to ultimates. Now, if you remember what they had on their team, they had um, they had Tracer, they had Sombra, and they had one more DPS, which may have been a Genji. Um, I hope at some point you just sort of flash your uh, your middle button so I can just sort of see what they have there. I'm gonna go back for one second to see what they have. Um, they have a Hanzo, Tracer. Okay, so I'm looking at their ultimates. One of the best things you could have done with your ultimate is if their Reinhardt used Earth Shatter and you didn't get caught in it, or even if you did get caught in it, because let's be real, like, he can't actually kill you um, with his combos. So the Shatter does, I think, 50 damage, the Fire Strike does 100 damage, and the Pin does 300 damage. That's a total of, I think it's like 475 damage, which you can hit Triangle once you get pinned at the end of it, and you can just completely bash him around. That is if he pins you. Now, when you get... If he happens to earth shatter your team and you're stuck in it, of course you can get back up, you can use your ultimate, you can bash him around, make sure he doesn't get any more kills, sort of protect your team as the only tank that you have left, right? And the other thing is, if you don't get caught in it, that's even better for you, using that triangle, sort of pushing him out of this charge line of sight, so basically you can, you can displace him in his charge, try to get him away from your team, you can sort of displace him if he's trying to throw a fire strike, throw off his aim and all that stuff. Um, your, your ultimate is best used when trying to counter something. Um, alternatively, your ultimate can be best used when there are a whole bunch of enemies on the point, and you've got to spread them out, sort of get that sort of thing done. Um, so we're going to go back to where you were, which was, I think, right about here. Maybe a little bit earlier. Oh, I'm not sure anymore. Where were we? Okay, I think you were just back here. Hey, you're right here, okay. So you're beating around the Rhine and all that stuff. You are displacing the Rhine, of course, but... Alright, this is where you put them in the bubble. Put them in the bubble. Good job, good job. Now, at this point, you want to sort of... This is what we call bubble dancing. Um, If there are people that are trying to get into your bubble, you sort of use the wall of the bubble as sort of a midpoint. So... One of the best things you can do is not exactly stay in the middle of your bubble, 
but instead what you want to do is sort of like dense the uh, dense the outside because if someone walks into your bubble you can sort of like back up a little bit your bubble's still there in between now there's somewhere did something that's a little bit stupid went in used her ultimate and then just walked out that had no effect on you um this is when you look at the top right your genji's down you don't have a turret which means your torb isn't being as effective as it could be oh that's not good that is not good no 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 no, no, no. that is bad that thing you just did there that's bad that's very bad Okay, you just hopped in there alone. You can see that there's a Bastion in the corner, though, so that's good. At least he can maybe help you out, but he can't help you against their, uh... I can only assume might be a McCree there. Um, definitely a Nano Hanzo, which would be a problem for you. Um, maybe it wasn't a McCree. It might have just been a uh, Tracer or a Lucio. It might have just been Lucio. Okay, you can definitely get rid of this Lucio. Good job, good job. Um, now this Tracer here, you can probably... You can probably get her down. You can grab the health pack. Okay, she grabbed the health pack and then she recalled. I don't understand why she did that. But this, without recall, this is when you leap. Now, when you're going to leap, which I'm assuming you, I hopefully you do. Okay. So it, so leap obviously. The way leap works is that it still works on a vertical axis, right? So if you aim up, the leap will jump up with you, and it has sort of a weird interaction with slopes, where if the slope is sort of like. Now let me demonstrate you with the mouse. So let's say if the slope is sort of like, sort of like that, sort of like following the curve of my mouse, uh, maybe a little bit less steep, sort of like that, right? Um, if you leap sort of up like this, even if one little part of your hitbox hits the ground, it'll cancel the leap instantly. So what you want to do is with this sort of like weird curve there, when you leap up, try to leap up above and then over the curve, or else you'll sort of get that weird sort of stumble animation that you had there. That's just something you can work on over time. It's not a huge thing, but it could have uh, it could have gotten me that tracer. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Um, so what I was going to say, if you get stuck with a pulse bomb, you put down your bubble. That's how it works. If you get stuck with a pulse bomb, you throw down your bubble and you try to go to the outskirts of it. In fact, if you're if you know you're stuck on behind, right? Not you're stuck from behind. I'm sure. Hold on, let me just do that again. Um. Okay, you're stuck from behind. So, you get stuck from behind, put down your bubble instantly, you have to react to that. Because you're... It's... It was just... It, it was just luck. Alright? Because Winston's fat, right? He's a large character model. So it was kind of luck that if you were a different character, that Lucio on your team would be dead. Instantly dead. Now, it's sort of luck that you were stuck on the back, but what you want to do is if... You know where you're stuck with the pulse bomb, right? That's when you put down your bubble and you try to sort of ease the pulse bomb towards the back of your character. Um, try to make it so that it will hit the wall as much as possible and spread out as little as possible. Um, so you kind of want to put it on the inside of your bubble, closest to the wall, so that it hits the fewest number of people as possible. Now it's something you can work on over time, of course. And it's kind of funny that the Tracer killed herself with it. It was sort of a dumb thing for her to do, because she wasted a recall and used all three blinks. But... Now your Tracer's overextended, but when you're overextended with her, I believe your Tracer actually just... Wait, what is he doing? Okay, that was odd. Uh, I think your Tracer actually... No, okay, she didn't retreat. Now you know there's another tank in the vicinity. Your Lucio just said group up. That is important. Your Lucio said group up. He is your only healer on your team. Check your health. You're at 94. You cannot fight that Zarya, especially when she's out of range and there's a Hanzo right next to her. The best thing you could have done at this situation is put down your bubble. See if you do it. Okay, so the best thing you could have done, remember that you have your bubble. The best thing you could have done is put down your bubble, wait for your cooldown to jump off because neither of their attacks can go through your bubble, right? Wait for your leap cooldown to go off and then just try to book it as hard as you can towards your Lucio who oh. can try and heal you a little bit. No, she, no, no, no. But hey, we're keeping them off the objective, so oh, we yeah, just gotta get a third of the way on the objective, the objective right yeah. I, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so you heard the summer. You heard the summer's call out. Um, when summer comes out of invisibility, she comes. Uh, she comes out of invisibility. She says something like, "Gotcha," or "Here all along," something like that. That's an important voice line that you have to hear because they actually reduce the range that you can hear that voice line a little while back. So when you hear it, you know that she is near you, and it is quite likely that she's trying to hack you. Now, there's also the sound, of course, that when she's hacking, you can hear the little beeps, right? Um, but when you heard the voice line, the best thing you, you the thing you should have done, which I'm sure, I'm sure if you look back on this right now, you can probably assume, uh, the best thing you could have done is just turned around, 
and try to spam left click, try to get her, uh, because damage interacts, uh, damage interrupts her hack. Now, just before you finish off this round, a general tip for Winston is essentially, um, if you're trying to burn someone down, if you're trying to melt someone with your attack, which isn't easy to do as Winston, because your damage, your DPS is kind of low, it's a fairly, I, th I think it's around 60 a second, um, which isn't great. Well, one of the things you can do, especially against uh, tanks, things that have armor and stuff like that, armor is of course the, the yellow part of your bar, um, it's mostly tanks, Breed has armor, uh, Torbjorn can put down armor, all that stuff. Uh, Reinhardt that you were fighting has armor. Um, one of the best things you can do, actually the best thing you can do, is put melees in between your put melees in between your little shocks, right? So you're, you can hold down the trigger for your shock, and then every now and then you just sort of hit the melee button. And what that'll do is it'll add an extra 30 damage, and not only that, but it'll actually it'll give you the, the free 30 damage, but it'll make it so it takes longer before you have to reload, meaning that you can actually output more damage before having to reload, because Winston actually has a fairly lengthy reload animation that can make it so that he doesn't get the kill he needs. And other than that, um, the damage from Winston Tesla Cannon is sort of like, it's a ticking damage, right? Which armor is actually really effective against. So the way armor works, which I might make another video for, um, is essentially like, it negates most of small amounts of damage, right? So I think it negates like, uh, I think it's maximum of 5 damage and up to 50% of damage. I'm pretty sure. So against like Tracer, um, Tracer's bullets are actually really ineffective against armor. But say something like a Fire Strike is really effective against armor. So big chunks of damage, sort of like, um, I forget what I use the term, what the term is. Uh, chunk damage is a, it's a term for it where it's all, a burst damage, that's what it is. So burst damage is effective against armor, and that's what your melee is. It's, a, it's just a chunk of burst damage, so it'll sort of reduce it by a small amount. It'll reduce it by five, but at the same time. I mean, this ultimate, it doesn't really matter because you have four seconds left. Of course, it is that thing about using it as a counter ultimate and all that. I believe your Genji only used Blade once, I suppose they only had to use it once. I'm not sure your team actually used ultimates much at all. Uh, I, I remember your Lucio used it once, which is fine. But uh, we're just going to move on to the next round as soon as possible when everything is done and ready to start. Go. It looks to me like you are still going to be playing as And that was one of the worst leaps I've ever done. Now this match be here at the choke point, guys, so has watch to out. be very, very... Oh, yeah, let's take a look at your team comp, actually. Um, this match should be very fast. Leaves I've ever done. But I can see with what we have left, we have a fair amount of time, which means it might leave us with an extra, point, guys, so watch out. extra amount of time. They actually have a lever on their team. Um, crazy. Um, because they ha still have the chance to tie it. The way that you uh, you cannot, you can no longer lose this game. Essentially, you can only win or tie. So the guy should have taken his chances uh, of getting a tie, possibly. Um, but anyways. Let's look at your team comp. Let's look at your team comp. Uh, you have a Torbjorn, which of course is not a very good idea on attack. Um, you have a Bastion, which is questionable on attack, but I suppose you can make it work with Reinhardt. Uh, sort of a movable barrier for the Bastion to work with. Uh, your Lucio, again, is actually very, very strong on attack because of the speed boost. But the only problem is that he cannot provide enough healing for your team. I can tell you that right now. You're not going to get enough healing. Your Ryan's not going to get enough healing. Uh, your Bastion can self-heal to an extent, but again, he's not going to get enough healing. And Torbjorn's definitely not going to get enough healing. The biggest problem I have is that your Tracer, is a, as a flanker, is literally going to get zero heals from your Lucio if they're sort of going off in the direction that they should be going off in. And judging by the fact that you have silver damage, they're I'm going to guess that your Tracer way, is not so going to be uh, playing their best. Now, let's look at your situation. Uh, poke back out? Okay, there we go. Let's look at your situation. Your Bastion is standing upright. Your Ryan is going on to the right. I can see three people on your team going over to the left. So your team is split up, which is never good. But, if you look up top, who's up top? You can see, oh god, uh, I cannot see with that resolution. I can see a Zenyata, I remember. Let's uh, sort of take a look back. See what was going on. They're down. Boom, Diva's up top. Player, by up the top. Way. And, so that's good. one other person. I can see the shots, that's a Widowmaker up top. Okay, so the enemy team has a Widowmaker, a Zenyata, and a diva up top. Now, I remember, I can see this diva. Boom, diva drops down. This is your best opportunity. This is the golden opportunity. The only people you have to face if you jump up there right now is a is freaking Zenyatta and a Widowmaker. And you literally just have to hold down left click. That is your entire job. Alright? 
You just need to hit left. I almost said left shift. Uh, you just need to hit L1 to get up there to the ledge. Hold down right. Um, hold down right trigger, I guess, on the Zenyatta or the Widowmaker. One of the two, probably Zenyatta, because he he can't self heal or he can't heal other people. He can't heal himself, rather. Um, so go for the Zenyatta. Take him down. Probably put your bubble down. Make sure the Widowmaker doesn't interfere, interfere as much. Um, maybe you do it. Okay, no. What you do is you go in for the Diva. Um, the best thing you could literally do would be to go up and get rid of that Zenyatta because he can no longer heal his team if he's dead, obviously, right? And where he is right now, he has a... He, that Zenyatta's actually in a very good Diva's placement right like now. Baby Diva 1. Alright. Okay, there you go, Widowmaker. Wait for your lead cooldown to jump down. Get that Widow, Diva please, down. I beg. I mean, there you get, go. of course, Easy, this C9, baby. your Widowmaker, uh, their Widowmaker C9, their Zenyatta C9 and all that stuff. I mean, this was a victory for you, of course. There are a whole bunch of things uh, you can improve on, which I did sort of outline all that stuff. And we're going to move on to the next match here because we want to sort of check out uh, other healer, other heroes that you're playing. If you're playing Winston, it might be the end of it because I already gave you a bunch of Winston tips. It seems you're playing Genji, though. Um, let's take a look at your team combo once you walk out of those gates. Okay, let's see what you have. Okay, looking good. This is looking much, much better. Um, it appears you still have that Bastion on attack, which it may or may not work out. It probably will, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, you have the Reinhardt, which works. You're playing Genji, which is a hero I can actually help you out with. Um, I am begging that you have higher sensitivity on this Genji than you did on Winston, because, dear God, it will be impossible for you to play Genji if you have that same sensitivity. Um, you have a Gold Mercy player, which... Congratulations, that is a Mercy player that may or may not be able to actually really be beneficial to your team. You have a Bronze Zenyatta. Um, the Zenyatta might be okay. His aim, he might not be getting many kills, but the Zenyatta, of course, uh, is still helpful with that Transcendence. Um, it seems I have not seen a single meta team or meta pick in this entire game. I suppose that's just how things are you know, in Bronze and all that stuff. All right, let's all rush out. No point. Let's sure check... No. Um, Let's check how things are going. Now, Sweet. one only concern I have on your team is that the only person that you have to deal with, a, uh, say, a Pharah, would be a Bastion, which requires time to set up. Um, especially when you're trying to advance on something, it's hard. So if they have a Pharah, them. you might find yourself in a little bit of a sticky situation, but uh, see how things are going. Okay, um, let's talk about the way you're using your shurikens, first of all. You are using... Um, you're using Blade Fan. A lot, um, more than you should be. Now, it is true that it technically gives you more DPS, but the thing is, when you're at a distance longer than literally two meters in front of you, use your other version. Use your regular um, volley, I suppose. Because, I mean, let's, let's be real here. There's a high chance that you're not going to get anything, as you can see when you were trying to poke back and forth there. It just really did not work out for you. Now, that, that is a situation where you would have used um, blade, uh, uh, Phantom Blades because it's close enough. Now what you did here is you sort of went through the the three shuriken and then you went on go for the dash, which I think let me just go back and check that out again. Um, now when you hear when you hear Sombra appear behind you, right, and you can sort of hear in your uh, the direction from your headphones, I'm assuming, um, is from the right side. If you can hear her, the best opportunity you have to stop her from hacking someone is to dash into her because you can't see her, you can't exactly aim, right? But dash has a fairly large hitbox, so you can probably I'll probably hit her. Now let's see what you do here again. Okay, so you go with the three shurikens, the best op opportunity would have been to try to aim your your uh, your crosshair onto her forehead, and then to sort of hit um, your other version, your blade of fans. Your blade of fans? No, your fan of blades. I'm sorry. And, okay, now here's, here's the problem. Um, you're using, sort of, you're using deflect here. Um, you know her hack is off cooldown. You know she has, uh, probably has her translocator up and ready to sort of exist and exit. Uh, which means using this deflect is just sort of wasting your cooldown. Especially when you end it with a, uh, a dash like that. Now you know she's gone, there's no point in looking around for her. Um, now the only thing I can see here is that your team, I, spo I s assume you're waiting for a pick because you guys are not really going in as much. You sort of stall in here. Um, now doing this sort of a poke is okay. Um, so long as you can back up in time for your, I'm assuming your Mercy or your Zen to get you. I'm assuming if your Zen has any sort of competence, which I'm, I'm assuming he might not, he would throw his orb on you right now. Um, that's a good time to use your deflect, yes. Oh, that, now this is now this is a little bit harder to do. Um, now you didn't die because that Reaper, that Reaper that was on your right, um, he had no aim. Now if that Reaper did have aim, I can I can assure you right now you'd be completely dead right now. Um, 
What I would have done is once you got in there, you got the kill, you got your dash reset, you dash right back out, you wait for your dash to come back on cooldown, and you sort of like poke jerkin. Um, because you know that Reaper is still there on the right. Oh, no, 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 okay. N now look, now look. Look at your top right. You gotta pay attention to your top right because you see that two people on your team is dead. Those are two of your DPS. You're the only DPS. You're the only person going in. There is one, two, three. I'm assuming another person right next to them, maybe. So let's just say four and then five right there. You can see the Mercy Beam going towards that Reinhardt. That is five people around you and you are alone here with two dead teammates. Not the best situation to be in. Now, it's a good thing you walked back out. Um, if the enemy team had noticed you fast enough, you probably would not have made it out of there. Um, I'm not sure if your mercy's dead or not. She might have been. It's a good thing to grab your health back. Oh. Okay, now this in theory can work, but it did not work for a couple of reasons. Um, one, they might have heard you walking up. Because I the uh, Genji's dash is quite audible, so they might have heard you dash towards the health pack, which I, I think is what you did. Uh, if I recall. Yeah, your dash is on cooldown, so I'm assuming that's what you did. Um, yeah, they definitely heard the dash cooldown, that's what it was. Now, what happened here? Now, what happened here is... I am certain, without a doubt in my mind, that on the right side of your screen that you can't exactly see right now, on the right side of you, not your screen I suppose, that reaper just wraith walked behind you. Um, with the mercy in tow, because there's there's actually the entrance on the other side. There are two entrances to that uh, area. In fact, what? there might even be three. No, there's just two. Double teamed by a reaper and a diva. Yeah, this is literally what happened here. He's went behind you. That is uh, that is what happened there. Um, so all I can say is you probably shouldn't have gone in, or if you did go in, you should have. First of all, I gotta say, increase your sensitivity. You gotta look around more. Um, I can see that your your camera is sort of more static than it should be. It's sort of focused in one position, and I think um, you gotta pay attention more to generally your surroundings, especially when you're playing as a front as a flanker, um, because generally that can that can be your undoing. Okay, now your main healer is dead. All you have for healing is Zenyatta. Now you better not go in. Please don't go in. Please don't go in. Please don't go in. Oh my! Okay. Um, at this point, we know why you died. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. You know what, uh, I think, I think I've made the point kind of clear there. Thinking your Mercy is dead, your only healer was Zenyatta, who cannot provide enough heals for you or your, or your D.Va. The enemy Lucio, although he shouldn't have used the ultimate, did, and at that point it was already too late for you. Now, one of the problems here is your team is getting quite a bit scattered. Um, your team should have backed up once the Mercy sort of didn't exist. Now, I'm really interested to see how you use your blade at this point. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go back a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go back a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's do this by a sort of... Uh, let's, let's slow this down a little bit. Let's do it sort of a frame by frame, I suppose. Um, let's slow this down and let's sort of go through each part and why each thing happened here. Um, Ryan through the fire strike. Now, one of the best things you can do as a Genji is deflect the fire strike back. Now, not a lot of people know this. In fact, I think maybe only about like 50% of the people who actually play Genji are aware of this. But you can deflect fire strike back. Um, it acts as a projectile, so it, you deflect it back, gives you a whole bunch of old charges. Great. Um, so that's one of the best things you should be in one of your priorities. Now, you saw that somber go invisible. I think if I go back like one second, I turn to the to the left. Now, what happens here is you. You see the Sombra there. Nice, so the Sombra turned towards the area. Ryan towards, goes in there. Ooh, okay. So the Ryan charges in, gets your Mercy. You have literally no healers. You do not have a Mercy, you do not have a Zenyatta. They are both completely deceased. Right? And what makes it worse... Ooh, is that the Ryan goes in there instead of turning to focus the Ryan? Now that Ryan, let's be real here. He is extremely overextended. He goes in there with a charge. He gets your healer, but no one else goes in with him. You can punish him to the nth degree. You can murder that Reinhardt so easily because of how much support he will not be getting for being so overextended. Um, even if you don't have your healers, you alone can probably punish him because he won't be getting any support. Um. Not to mention he had a couple people with you. How unfortunately he did use his uh He did use his ultimate there. And uh, oh the problem here is um Oh wow. So 
three hammers down, you can start hearing the hammer down cue. And then you hear, and then you start dashing. And now, it's possible that he just doesn't react to it in time, which is acceptable. Um, but the only thing that is completely unacceptable and does need to improve is the fact that you did not see these healers were both dead, and you went in alone. And what makes it worse is you went right in there into five people. Maybe it was four or five people. If it was four people, fine. Five people, even worse. Either way, it's still the worst thing you could have done in that situation. And to make it even worse, you whipped out that dragon blade. Now, of course, you're the only person that went in. You're gonna get focused, like, freaking... You're gonna get cut through, like, a hot knife through butter. Like, you're the only person through there. It's literally, like, six fly swatters on a single fly that walked into a room. Like, you're you're dead, dude. You're dead the instant you hit that shift button. Or not shift, you're, uh, you're dash. Which is, uh, L1, I suppose. So... The thing is, one, you use the blade at the at improper time. Two, you have very low HP. Um, three, you use your dash to get away, but you're still in the open, which sucks. Um, four, your their Sombra and their Diva are coming after you, and five, you will not be able to get a kill to get that dash reset. The only saving grace, which will probably not even work, and now I think about it, would be to use your deflect and back up to a health kit, um, and hope that maybe they leave you alone. That's really the only thing you could possibly do here. Um, you you cannot you cannot get anything here. Okay, you deflect. Now, not only that, but when you're deflecting, one of the best things you could have done is maybe climb up to the left, because the only person that could have gotten you is maybe Diva if she flew, and maybe Lucio if you wall rided, and maybe Mercy if you can get up there too. Now, their entire team technically can get up there, but it's faster to say if instead of... I mean, the deflect did save your life, but if it was possible to get over there, climb up, and deflect your way over, I mean, it's it's a really hard situation to get your get yourself out of. But um, oh, darn it. we're gonna head back over to a normal speed and keep going, because mainly you put yourself into a position which is really hard to get yourself out of. Now, ideally, if you were in that position in the first place, uh, and I died while ulting. Would be much better. The somber dude, it's so nauseous. I'm not entirely sure what you mean by the Sombra being obnoxious. Um, the well, Sombra hasn't hacked you once. Even while you were blading, she didn't hack you, even though she had the opportunity to. Um, I'm not really sure what you meant by the Sombra being obnoxious. I'm really sure. Okay, I'm not sure what that deflect was for. Um, that deflect, I assume... I I'm assuming that you thought that the soldier was going to come out, that you'd be able to deflect a couple bullets, right? Um, here's the main thing. Deflect really shouldn't be used, sort of, if you think an enemy's gonna shoot at you. You got- you have to use it reactively instead of as, um, instead of preventatively, use it reactively. So, if you think something's gonna come your way, don't use it unless it is exactly coming your way and you know it is. Um, other than that, it, I don't- it's just- it's on cooldown now, you can't exactly use it, and if you go in, you have no escape. And you win it. Um... Okay, just deflect, 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 please. Please deflect, please deflect! Okay, uh, you could've used that deflect a lot better. Now, you have someone on the objective- I don't, don't even ask me how that works. Um, at least you got rid of that Devo bomb, effectively, which is good. Um, that dash does not need to exist. You still have enough time, you have enough time, do not panic. Don't go in, do not panic. Here, going in, use the deflect. Uh, I think you're in a small state of panic now, because you're behind enemy lines, you're low HP. Um... Soldier's coming after you. Alright, here's, here's an important thing to note. Here's a very important thing to note. Um... What... The best thing you can do, if you're about to dash, like, you have plans in your mind, you're like, yes, I'm gonna dash on that enemy. Um, the best thing you can do, use your, uh, use your Phantom Blades first. Use your fan of blades and combo into it. Now, I might even just throw in a little bit of my own gameplay just to show you what that is. Uh, of course, I'll be it'll be on PC, but it'll, it sort of carries over. I use the same thing on uh, on console when I played. But um, definitely, it's possible that if your sensitivity was higher, what you could have done is you could have used your fan of blades, um, dash through him, turned around and meleeed. That would have killed him. Uh, if he sees HP, by the time he's dead. Oh no, okay, he skipped it. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned for your mercy. Oh, you're swapping last second? Okay, one of the things is when you swap last second, it actually technically destroys your stats uh, on that character. I'm just saying. So, it, you will end up losing more SR if you swap and you don't get anything done with that hero. Because Unfortunately, the game technically, if you think about it in a technical sense, does punish you for swapping. 
Um, which I know it sucks. It absolutely sucks. And I'm pretty sure most people hate it. But that's just how it is. Now your diva probably should have used her ult uh, sooner. Let's be real here. Uh, let's check your defense though. Let's go to. If you're gonna be playing Winston on defense, I might just might just let the video uh, stop here. Do a small time check. Forty minutes, yeah. Um. Sure, let's just keep going. I mean, sure, let's just keep going. I don't mind. Um, having this extend a little bit further than uh, than usual. Okay, so uh, let's check your let's check your team comp. Let's see if you flash your uh, your stats at some point. Hopefully, you do. Okay, tell them to group up. Good. Are they gonna are they gonna come with you though? Are they coming with you? I don't think they're coming with you. Um. Your two healers are coming with you, which is good. As a tank, that's good for you. Okay, um... Uh, I don't think you flash stats. Uh, so let's go back and see your team comp. That's not that's not seriously your team comp, right? Oh, that's your seriously team comp. Oh, God. Okay, um, well then. You have two healers and a tank. That's an improvement. Um, the tank you are playing is not the tank for the situation. Now, here's here's a moment where I'm going to have to be brutally honest, and even if you dislike me for it, I can guarantee you it will it will help you, but you won't like what I'm about to say. You don't have mains. You do not have mains yet. Sure, you might you might have played Hanzo before, and you say you don't really play Hanzo. You might you might play a little bit of Winston, right? You don't have mains yet. You don't need to play Winston consistently every single game. And you don't, it's not necessarily, you don't have to play Winston on attack, defense, and just about everything else. Winston is situational, just like every other hero in the game. Now, I could, the two games that you sent me, you were playing Winston on the first one, and you're playing Winston second half of the second one. So, if this is sort of the gameplay you want to show me, then what I can, what I can infer is that you're trying to get better at Winston. Now, it's not necessarily something that you have to do. Um... Better heroes for this situation would be Arissa on defense, Reinhardt for defense, um, especially Reinhardt because he can help your Reaper get in there and do what he needs to do. Um, but playing Winston right now, I think is probably one of the worst uh, tank options you could do. But we're just going to um, let the match begin here. We're going to wait uh, 30 seconds to go ahead. Bend objective A. Here we go. I'm not oh, sure if this will be uh, a winner or loss yet, but Sweet. maybe it'll be a tie. Hopefully it'll be a tie, it'll be a tie maybe a little bit better. No! No, 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 no! No! This thing you just done? Don't, don't, stop doing this. Stop doing this. Um, this is, this is a bad thing that you've just done here. Now, remember what we talked about. Arissa has a lot of, um, what do you call it? Armor. Arissa has a lot of armor. Man, she has a lot of armor. So essentially, you're doing half of the damage that you would normally be doing against her. So essentially, even with the Mercy nerf, where her healing is 10 less than your damage, against armor, your damage is halved. You're doing 30 damage a second, Mercy is healing 50 a second. If you can do some simple math, you can, fi you can find out that against Arissa, you are dead. Not to mention her Fortify, which she just hit. That is another 50% damage reduction. So if you keep going after this Arissa, dude, you are deceased. You are literally dead. Now it's a good thing you got out of there. Your mercy got there in time, but never Thanks. ever leap in Thanks, against Narissa. Never ever leap in, especially when she has more than one person. Now one of the things is you. I understand you're holding front here. Put down bubble. Put down bubble. Put down bubble. Oh my god, thank you. Um, I understand you're holding front here for your team to try and deal with the person at the back, right? Look at your kill feed. Two, both your DPS are dead. Both of them are dead. Right. And you're holding front, and your team is trying to sort of deal with the back, which... I mean, you should have gone and helped with the back, and now you have no healers. Your healers, which go, went to the back to try to help with the other people who are trying to deal with people uh, trying to back cap. Your healers are now dead, which couldn't help you hold the front. Now, your best option would have been to leap back, stay with your team, and sort of hold a little bit further back. Wait for the team to advance a little bit further, up towards the choke, right? And wait for them to spread out. Spreading out, enemies that are spread out, is Winston's wet dream.
all right? Because if they have to, if they have to move more to help each other, you can solo people out much, much easier, right? So say, say their Arisa goes ahead with their Mercy, right? And then there's no one else with them. You can probably murder that Mercy very quickly if she stays with the Arisa, because if she has no one else to fly to, right, it's just super easy for you to murder. And once the Mercy's down, you can essentially go after the Arisa. I mean, you shouldn't go after the Arisa. Of course, Winston is one of the worst picks you can possibly go against Arisa. But still, you can sort of distract her, stop, or sort of, not stop, but sort of pause her advance a little bit more. Um, now, one of the things I'm extremely concerned about is I don't think... No, your teammate does have the Mercy, but the Mercy got murdered. Now, you have your ultimate. You have your ultimate. No. Oh, get Lucio, get Lucio. Now, that's what we were talking about, how you're... Ooh, okay, Lucio's down, but that's what we were talking about, how, um... How sort of reload, reloading, the reloading animation can sort of keep Winston out of his kills, which sucks. It absolutely sucks. But one of the things is uh, definitely, again, that melee in between, every now and then, just a couple of punches, it just helps out a little bit. Now, you've been hacked. You've been hacked. Um, now, if there were, if there was a better enemy team facing you right now, which of course there isn't, um, but in sort of like higher levels there will be, which we're sort of, this is the goal to try to help you get to a higher level. Uh, if you're fighting against better players, well, during your ultimate, they would be focusing you super duper hard, right? And without your leaps, you're so much easier to hit because you're a massive, massive target. You're at least twice the size as usual when you're using your ultimate. And even if you have 1000 HP, you get burned down really, really quickly if you cannot move around. Oh my God. Now, this is a defeat, and of course, we talked about a whole bunch of things recently. And so, if we're going to do a little bit of a recap, um, there are a whole bunch of things you can work on. Uh, especially one of the things is definitely leaping in by yourself, uh, that's one of the biggest problems. Another thing is you have to keep in mind sort of how much your DPS actually is and how effective you can actually be against different heroes. So against Arissa, remember remember this 100% of the time, Arissa is your worst possible enemy, especially if she's getting healed by literally anyone. Against Zenyatta, I'm pretty sure that's like 20 healing up per second. And your damage is like 30 damage a second. And if she's using Fortify, your damage is actually 15 damage a second. So a Zen Orb can actually keep her healed up if she's using her fortify against you. And in that time that she's fortified, she can probably still kill you. Keep that in mind. Um, against other heroes like uh, D.Va, who have shotguns, are really, really easy to murder you in a 1v1, um, especially because uh, the headshot from the shotgun, you have armor too, but a D.Va will completely melt your armor so quickly because uh, micro-missiles are actually burst damage. So burst damage, first of all, can destroy your armor. So what arm, what little armor you do have will get destroyed. And then, of course, it's just a whole bunch of easy headshots because of how big Winston's uh, head hitbox is. So, again, you got to stop going in by yourself. That was one of the biggest problems. Uh, another one is how you're using your ultimate. you got to make sure that you use it sort of to counter enemy ultimates. So let's say... Mm, a lot of the time, there wasn't really an enemy ultimate that would be super effective. If you're playing Winston on that first round against the Soldier, when Soldier's using his ultimate, you can just negate his ultimate almost completely, right? Um, you bash him around, the only target that's closest to him that he can see is you directly because of how big and massive your target is. So he can really only attack you, but since your damage is... Technically, you can kill him before he kills you because uh, he can't put it at his heal station. You'll just like bash him away. If you bash him into a corner, he dies easy. Um, against Genji, that's how it works too because your health is too much to absolutely murder a Genji. Uh, no, your health is too much for Genji to murder you with his blade, I'm sorry. Um, even while he's nano boosted, you can sort of get him out of the way real quick. Um, anything else we want to talk about before we go? Uh, well, not that I can entirely think of. Um, of course there were certain parts of your team where you didn't have a healer some of the time. Um, sometimes your healers were inefficient at actually being effective as, as, at healing you. Um, a lot of the time, there are better picks you could have played, so on defense, better tank picks are um, definitely Reinhardt and Orisa. Now, if you had played Reinhardt, we could have an entire three-hour discussion about how you can improve, but uh, I'm not so well-versed on Winston, and uh, well, I, I can definitely give you uh, Orisa tips if you were playing Orisa, but other than that, yeah, definitely try and go for the shield tanks. The shield tanks, um, and Winston's technically, he's a barrier tank, which does fall into the shield tank category, but his barrier is, I think, like 600 or 800 or something, and it has such a long cooldown. It's a 13 second cooldown, and it's also massive. It's much easier to hit than, say, um, Arisa's barrier because it can be hit from, from all sides. It can also be used really, really well. So, um, if, say, there's a Diva Bomb, right? 
Uh, if there's a diva bomb that's threatening to murder your entire team, if it's too far away from you, leap towards it, put down the bubble, you'll die, but your team won't, which is good. Um, if it sort of lands right next to you, literally just walk up to it, put bubble down, leap out of it, you're cool, your team lives, everything's fine. Um, bubble can be used in various ways, but definitely on defense, the best things you can do is 100% play Reinhardt, play Rissa, and uh, I can guarantee it'll start, uh, you'll start seeing some improvements, because those are heroes that can actually find a lot more, um, sort of, they can do a lot more on defense. They can protect their team more, they have, uh, wider barrier coverage, first of all. Second of all, they have, uh, better barrier up, um, uptime. So, they have, uh, smaller cooldowns, especially Arisa with, like, the 8 second cooldown and 900. So, instead of the 800 and 13 second cooldown, it's much, much better. Um, as well as your Fortify, which sort of stops any Reinhardt's charging, which is good. Other such things. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend uh, pl trying to play other tanks, sort of expanding your roster and other such things like that. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. I mean, you haven't played the game too much at level 36. Um, yeah, that's really all I can say. Uh, I mean, good luck to you in your other games. I hope this information was really helpful to you. Helpful to you. And um, if you need any more help, of course, send in more... Uh, more footage I can sort of help you out anytime you need. Sort of, I haven't been getting too many coaching submissions right now, so. Of course, if you want your own coaching submission uh, in the next one, you can, of course, use the information up on screen right now. Uh, I probably put it earlier in the video, which I might just put it up again, because why not? But, sure, just send in your, uh, your submission, just like this, I'll help you out. Try to help you get out of bronze, or silver, or gold, or maybe even platinum, whatever you really need. Um, diamond and above isn't really my expertise level, but... I can no, I could probably not help you with that. Unless it's Reinhardt. And Reinhardt, I am solid on Reinhardt. So, basically, that's it for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is Carter signing off. And as always, have a fantastic day.